from, uh, well, Spirit Courts, from the home of the Spirit Courts, Bukina took South Africa, a very, in this case, a very, very pale amethyst. Uh, I think uh, the color we're talking of here is maybe the lavender. Now, uh, uh, telltale to this deposit are central quartz crystals surrounded by the smaller ones. Color caused by what happens around the edges, the inside edges of the main terminations gets duplicated right through. In this case, a very, very pale amethyst. The brownishness come reddishness included in some of the crystals would be uh, hematite come girthite in oxida uh, stages of oxidation trapped inside the quartzes. Very, very mild color. What I find when photographing these, because the, the, they are so busy, um, often the, the main head uh, sort of dies in the picture, so it looks like a blob of quartz. Whereas when held in hand, you can actually see a, a definite definition between the main crystal and the crystal surrounding it. Here on the back we have what typically happens. You'd have, that would be the old core crystal, and then there's this blanket of quartz crystal surrounding it. I believe that uh, these quartzes from Ampumalanga in South Africa, or Kwachofontein, Bukunatuk, are some of the oldest quartzes on earth, one of the oldest geological quartz formations.